Welcome to Southwestern Control's YouTube channel. This is Russell Church, president of Southwestern Controls, and we've been helping customers size, select, and control air motors for over 40 years. We're often asked the best way to control the speed of an air motor and hope the following video will answer any questions you have on the subject. Today, we're demonstrating how to control the speed of an air motor. We have two air motors on which we'll be demonstrating, GAST AM series and GAST MBP series. We will first demonstrate the AM series. The AM series has two ports and can be run either clockwise or counterclockwise. Today, we're putting air into the counterclockwise port and controlling the flow by putting a needle valve on the clockwise port that serves also as the exhaust port when running the motor in the counterclockwise direction. In other words, we're controlling the speed of the air motors by restricting the exhaust. We will start by running the air motor with the needle valve wide open. Now, we will restrict the exhaust and as you can see, we're slowing down the speed or RPM of the air motor. At some point, we can restrict the exhaust so much that the air motor will stop completely. Now we will demonstrate controlling the speed of an MVP <coughs> air motor. The MVP has a port for both clockwise and counterclockwise, like the AM series. In addition, is a separate exhaust port. In order to control the speed of the MVP air motor, we need to restrict the air coming from both the exhaust port and the opposite port to where you are putting incoming air, in this case, the clockwise port. What we've done for demonstrations is teed or join the exhaust and clockwise ports, which then go to a needle valve. We will start by running the motor with the needle valve fully open and then restrict the exhaust. Now we will restrict the exhaust. As you can see, we're slowing down the speed or RPM of the air motor. At some point, we can turn or restrict the exhaust such that it stops. You will notice that the MVP air motor is running at a slower speed than the AM air motor. This is because the MVP air motor has a gear reduction built onto the motor, giving it less speed, but a higher torque. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to control the speed of an air motor. If Southwest Controls can help you apply air motors to your challenging applications, please give us a call. Also, watch, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informational videos. Thank you.